On Calendar Week 48, new Flutter and Dart packages have been released on PubDev and as every week I am going to cover the ones which have the most amount of likes. Among them are a package for customizing and working with the desktop app window, a wrapper for the official JavaScript package VK Bridge, a new minimalistic video player and 7 more packages which made it into the top 10 of the week. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with Calendar Week 48. Starting off with a package that is described as a multi-platform minimalist video viewer with spectacular user experience. And this package is called Video Viewer. As far as I know, there are not too many options for implementing a video player in Flutter apps, so this might be worth investigating. Next is a package that enables you to process the contacts on your mobile phone, either on Android or iOS. With Flutter Contacts you can develop a full-fledged contacts app that is capable of reading, creating, updating, deleting and observing your native contacts. The world of Flutter offers a wide range of storage solutions, for example share preferences for simple data types up to database-driven solutions like SQFlight or Hive. But what about storage of files? The package File Selector is intended to help with that as well by providing us functionalities to open and save different types of files on your device. If you are new to Flutter or programming in general, you will sooner or later be introduced to the term Dependency Injection. To summarize it briefly, Dependency Injection means creating a dependency relationship between two objects by injection. So what means injection? If you have a class car and a class engine, and as you know a car does not work without an engine, that's why you can specify in the constructor of the car class that an engine object is required in order to create an instance of car. So we inject the engine into the car and thus create a dependency. The package Dependency Injector offers a dependency injection system and automatically calls cancel, close and dispose methods if necessary. If you experience problems with creating a scroll bar for the desktop version of websites, then you should definitely check out the package Web Scroll Bar, which describes itself as a simple package to create scroll bars for Flutter Web. This package depends on the package Smooth Scroll Web, which is also one of the top releases of the week, and I'm going to cover this later in the video. Next we've got a package that extends the functionality of text fields providing a small set of custom text editing controllers that allow masked text inputs. You can predefine the display type of the text field like in this example. The package Extended Masked Text, which is based on Flutter Masked Text, is an attempt to fix certain bugs of the original one. Oh my god, that was hard to pronounce. The smoother things are, the better. That's why my videos are in 60 FPS, but there are other types of smoothness that can be applied in other areas. For example, when it comes to scrolling up or down a browser window. With the package Smooth Scroll Web, exactly that can be achieved. In the picture at the top, no smoothness at all, but on the picture below I would say smooth like a baby butt. This package can be used with any scrollable widget, but it works only on desktop browsers. Check it out to increase your smoothness. If you have tried all the available state management solutions and you are still not satisfied with what they are providing, then let me tell you that there is another one called Medu. The project is inspired by GEDEX and it is considered to be kind of a light version of GEDEX with little changes in the code and some widgets. For those of you who are familiar with the Russian Facebook VK.com and would like to integrate VK mini apps into your app, should have a look on the package VK Bridge, which is a wrapper around the official VK Bridge JavaScript package. And now let me present you this week's number one, dominating with 29 likes and 55% of popularity, the package Bits Dojo Window. This package helps you to customize and work with the window of your desktop apps. Currently only Windows is supported but macOS is also in the planning. So what can you do with this? 
You can customize your window frame, for example by removing the standard windows title bar and buttons. You can show and hide your window on startup or runtime. You can move your window using Flutter widgets. You can minimize, maximize, restore and close. You can even manipulate the sizing rules, position, alignment and set the title. So if you're developing for Windows, this might be worth testing. For more information, check out the documentation. Before this video ends, I wanted to express my gratitude to all of you. The channel has now grown to 800 subscribers. I get very nice comments and a lot of positivity from you, which is very motivating. So thank you very much for watching and liking my videos and for supporting this channel. I am very curious where the journey will take us. I wish you all much strength and endurance in these crazy times. Stay strong, have a nice day and see you soon.